Today we're going to be checking out how I got my tone for my tutorial on Freaking Out on the Interstate by Briston Moroni. If you have not seen the tutorial yet, you can check it out up here. Now big disclaimer is that this tone does not sound exactly like what is on the actual record. In fact, this video does not intend to teach you how to get the tone off of the record. This idea in this video resulted from the influx of comments asking how I got the tone from that video. So here I am explaining it. I should also mention that this video is now part of a new series I am doing and experimenting with. I'm going to try, now keep in mind that I'm a very busy person right now in this time of my life, but I'm going to try to upload three videos a week. The first one being the tone from the song that we're focusing on that week. The second one being a, the guitar tutorial of that song. And then the third one being playing through that song so that you can play along with me. And this is kind of an introductory video for that. Now the format of the videos will change. Some I will be talking in, others not. There will be some change as I nail down what exactly I want the format of these videos to be like. But that format of tone, tutorial, playthrough will be consistent throughout the weeks. If you think that's a good idea, I want to hear down in the comments. And if you think it's a bad idea, I want to know why. So please reach out to me and let me know what you think of this new format for this channel. All right, let's dive into it. So for this song, I'm playing my Fender Stratocaster through two pedals. Those two pedals being the Origin FX Cali 76 and the Strymon Iridium. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The Strymon Iridium is my desert island pedal. It is like the lifeline of my whole rig. Now I know that Briston Moroni typically gravitates towards Fender amps, so you would typically go for the round mode. But I chose the Chai mode, which models an AC30 type of amplifier. I found it to be a little brighter, a little bit more present, I guess, and that's probably my favorite out of the three on the Strymon Iridium itself. As far as EQ goes, all bass, treble, and middle are all up the middle with a slight boost on the bass and treble. I found that added a little bit more presence and it added a little bit more oomph in the low end. To be honest with you, for a studio recording, if I was recording with the full band, I probably wouldn't do that. I would boost the mids because that's where the guitar lives. Now, for this tutorial, since there was no band, it's slightly more flattering to boost the bass and the treble, and that's actually exactly what Pantera does because they don't have a bass player. The drive and the room on this pedal were basically set straight up the middle. The level was set like this-ish. It's not a perfect science, it's just gain staging for going into Logic. In Logic, I did no extra processing. Now, taking a look at the Cali 76, I compress the snot out of my guitars. I'm not afraid to say it. This pedal has a way of making things feel beefy and fat and it makes it easier to play. And if a pedal can make you sound better and be easier to play, I don't see why you wouldn't use it. I'll explain how compressors work and all that in a later video if you guys want to hear about that. But I'm pretty heavy handed with my compression. Hopefully that answers your question. If you're wishing further details upon this, just leave me a comment down below. Here's a little listen to it. <laughs> 